Hey guys, so welcome, welcome to Zero Escape the Nonary Games. We're starting with Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors, which is the first game in the series. I've been excited to play this ever since I cleared the final dead room in Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. And we're going to see if we can beat this game. I know it's a really puzzle-centric game. So I've been advised to get a notebook and a pencil, so I've got that handy, ready and waiting before we start hitting up these puzzles. I know it's a visual novel-esque game, and it's made by the same company that made Danganronpa 2, which is Spike Chunsoft, as you can see down on the bottom. So without further ado, I think let's just jump right in. This is going to be pretty much completely blind. All I know about it is that uh, it's a puzzle game. We have to escape some rooms. Someone's captured us. That's all I know. Anyway, here we go. Ready? Ready. Creating save data. Here. Yes, please. Awesome. Prologue. This game is fiction. All names, characters, and incidents portrayed in this prediction are fictitious. There are two modes of play, novel and adventure. You can switch in and out of each interchangeably. So it's not like uh, Twilight Syndrome murder case, I guess, which was non-fiction. This is completely fictitious. Which comforts me. Ah! Almost dropped my pen and paper already. Panicking. We're counting down to something. Ding! Microwave's finished. Nope. Seems something much more dramatic. A loud noise startled Junpei awake, and his eyes snapped open. What? What? What the...? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't recognize his surroundings. Well, lucky I read that quick enough. With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. What? Whoa! His balance lost, and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold, gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah, what the hell? I'm guessing this doesn't seem familiar to you, Junpei. A bed? Yeah. Ah, I fell pretty far. Well, it looks like we're on that ship that we just saw in the introduction, from what I can tell. Ah, that really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake! But it, it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. Hmm. Where? Well, looks like we're starting in an escape room if that uh, looks to be a puzzle of some sort. Am I? Wait, it, it stopped? I didn't realize I was, like, tensed up because of that rumbling. That doesn't sound What's good. Sound. I hate that noise. It means it just means something's going to happen that's wrong, right? Whenever you hear this in your house, you're just like, that's... oh my god, something's about to break. Five. What's this five mean? Hmm. Ah, it won't open. What's this? Uh... Is this keeping the door shut? Looks like we are going to be escaping from this room. Straight away! Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! <sighs> Nothing. Huh? What the hell is this? A watch? It doesn't look like one. Five, just like what's written on the door. Are we, like, contestant number five, five. perhaps? That's... That's the same as the door. What? How do I take this off? I wouldn't Maybe do that if I was pushing you. Pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. No, Junpei, don't do that. Who knows what kind of thing this does? No good. This stupid thing won't come off. It's probably a good thing. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? Hmm. What the hell happened to me? I wonder if this is like 
Whoa, jeez. Ah, ah, my head. <sighs> That's what I get for trying to formulate a theory straight away. Whew, what was that? <sighs> okay, man, that kind of freaked me this out. Is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? Certainly seems like it. <sighs> I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? What the? Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. That's not good. What the? What the hell is going on here? Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. What the hell? God damn it! Uh, we, we gotta get out of here, right? Hey! Anyone! Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something! It's not working, Jubei. We need to find another way out. It's... it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. I need to find a way out, and fast. Yep, that's the idea. Must be us. Seek a way out. Okay. Water's filling up. Third class cabin. Okay. Suppose this is just our immediate vicinity. Operations during an escape. During an escape, you are restricted to an area. Your goal? Search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Click on a location you find suspicious to search the room. Use Q or E to move around the room. Okay. So this like rotates our vision. Oh man, do we have a time limit or something? The water's filling up. I don't know. Well, let's start with this, which is what I saw as soon as we landed in this room, basically. About items. Once you've obtained an item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Clicking item on the top left will take you to the item screen. Okay, note from bulletin board. Okay, some shapes. Search. The note's got red triangle, red triangle, and red, and blue triangle, blue triangle, and blue. That's helpful. Thank you, Junpei. Investigate with an item. The item visible in the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand and search different places. Click the item icon or press V to quickly change between items. Okay, what else have we got? We got this ship thing. Picture frame. Nothing odd about it, I guess. Search. An old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship in it. There's screws keeping the back on. Okay, cool. So maybe we can unscrew it. If that's in parenthesis. Maybe we'll just find a screwdriver. What else we got? We got the sink. Doesn't seem like there's anything hidden on the sink. So I guess I just click on anything, right? And we'll just investigate. This is the only drain in this room. Well, that's not good, is it? I don't think all that water's gonna fit in there. Got a hand towel. There's a towel next to the sink. There's nothing on the top of the shelf. I'm just gonna click everything I can. What's this? A bulletin board. There's nothing on it. it. Looks like July, but I guess that's not helpful at all. Uh, water just keeps pouring through the window. It's like a waterfall. I don't think shoving something into the window is gonna stop the water. No, I don't think so. Maybe that towel will be able to absorb it all? In other words, if I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. I have to figure this out. Okay, what else we got? We got some chairs. There's a pair of simple chairs next to the table. The water's already up to the chair. Okay. It doesn't look like there's any time limit or anything, so maybe that's a good thing. We've got a briefcase. No dice. It's locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Okay, we've got a key and some numbers. The number on the dial is 0101. I guess I need to put the key in the keyhole before I can enter any numbers on the dial. So we need to find a key. Okay, we've got this thing. There's a kettle. <laughs> what do you know? Well, let's see if there's anything in here. Huh? Looks like there is... A... Uh, key? Yeah, there's a little blue key in the bottom of this pot. Odd. Okay. This key's pretty small. Definitely not for a door. What's it for then? This key's blue. Is it supposed to open something else blue? Probably that suitcase we just investigated, Junpei. Let's try it out. Okay. Alright, let's see what happens if I put this blue key in the keyhole. And nothing. I guess I'm gonna need some sort of code for the dial. Mini games. During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several mini games. All operations for the mini games are done by clicking the screen. Some mini games will require you to manipulate something while others will only require you to apply the right object or click the right thing. Operation Instructions. Clicking the dial will cause it to move to the next number. 
Enter four numbers this way, and then click the key. If the numbers are correct, it will unlock. I don't think I know what the combination is right now, so there's no point in even trying it, I guess. Damn it! Open, you stupid thing! I don't think it's gonna open if I whack it on the wall a couple times. Might make me feel better. <laughs> Not gonna help, though. Alright, Junpei, don't freak out. Keep it cool, and look around for some more clues. Yeah, okay, let's keep investigating. Briefcase won't open, I need to put in the right security code. I accidentally clicked it. Okay. What else we got? We got this thing. This is the door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. I sure wish the door to get out of here was that easy to open. <laughs> if only! Is that a screwdriver in there? Well, that solves the mystery of whether or not the stove has been used before. What's this? Looks red. Screwdriver! Nice, I know we can combine items from the final dead room, so let's try that out. Let's unscrew this picture. I'm guessing that's it. Well, the screwdriver got those screws off easily enough. And here's the picture. Picture of an old cruise liner. Ooh, there's the pic there's the numbers and shapes. Okay, so this must be the code to the briefcase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So if we look at this. We've got seven. Seven four six three. Seven four six three. Combining items. I already knew that, but that's okay. Select a combine from the item screen to combine two items. If the two items can be combined, you will receive a new item. If they cannot, then nothing will happen. Try out different combinations of items you find in your search. Okay. Damn, what was the number again? Ah, oops, item. Let's go to item screen. <sighs> Note from bulletin board, that is... Uh, seven... Four... Six... Three. Seven, four, six, three. Okay, briefcase. Briefcase won't open. I need to put in the right security code. Yes. Guess I'm gonna have to find the four right, right four numbers. All right, let's give this another try. Seven, four, six, three. Okay, I guess that's wrong then. Oh. Shit. Damn it. No, I entered that code in. Shit. Maybe I'm missing something. Can't see the bottom of the ladder. Oh man, the water's already up to the bottom of the bed! I've gotta hurry this up. Okay, we got the bed. There's a pipe at the end of the bed. Are there end of the bed? There's nothing up top. I can keep looking till the cows come home. All I'm gonna find up here is that pillow. Damn it! Isn't there anything else I can use? Damn, Junpei, don't freak out. I know it's scary. There's water shit and shit, like, flowing into this room. Let's figure this out. There's a blue briefcase on top of the bed. Okay. What's this? Red briefcase. This is just like the brief briefcase. Right. Because there's red and blue shapes, obviously. There must be different codes. Yep, there's a lock on this one, too. And it's not opening. Okay, well, we're gonna need a, a red key, I guess, then? the hell is that going to be? There's some hangers on the pole. Curtain is already open. So there must be another one of these then. If we think about it, because there's this line. Maybe this is like the last half and there's another one where the shapes are flipped. Where the hell is that? Let's keep looking. Oh, I already clicked there. Already looked in this, right? There's nothing else there. It's an old stove. Well, that's just back to the briefcase. Back. Let's check this out. I guess it's a lever, huh? Maybe if I pull it. Well, it looks like pulling on the lever just makes a weird noise. Great. I'm just trying to, like, solve this as quick as I can, because I'm trying to pretend that the water's flowing in. The light's still red, and the display hasn't changed. Damn it! Why the hell isn't this thing opening? Five. Five. Five, huh? What does that mean? Got a light. Well, it looks like we've got a light here. And electricity. What about this bed? All I can see from down here is the underside of the top bunk. It's pretty high up there. Hmm, well, I can reach this bunk. Might as well look through it. Huh? Damn. Nothing here. Can't bring myself to call this a bed. Feels like a board with a sheet on it. It's pretty flat. Oh, there it is! Okay, there's two. Memo from bed. This one has different arrow, a different arrow on it. Can I combine these? 
Nope. I guess I have to work it out myself then. Okay, but we still need, like, uh, another key, right? But we can do the blue one, I'm sure. Okay, let's look at this then. Uh, right. item. Okay, so we've got a filled in square. That. So zero. Two. And then we gotta look at this one now. Zero, two. Six. I can just look at that. What the hell am I doing? Three. Zero, two, six, three. Time to give us another shot. Zero, two, six, three. Is that it? Yes! Alright, let's see if these numbers work. Turn the key, and... Hey! Looks like it's working! Yes! Alright, let's open it up. Yes! It opened! Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? What is it? File screen. If you find any documents or notes during an escape, the information contained in them will be available on the file screen. <laughs> Press right arrow to open the file screen. I thought it was enter for a second. All right, let's see what's in this file. Hmm, digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. First, add all the numbers in question to one another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. For instance, if you have a double digit number, add the number in the tens place to the number in the ones place. Yeah, I got that one. Keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit answer. That final single digit is your digital root. Example, the digital root of 678 would be uh, 3, right? Because 6, 7, 13, 21, 2 plus 1 is 3. 6 plus 7 plus 8 equals 21, 2 plus 1 equals 3. Yes! I knew my accounting skills would come in handy. Therefore, the digital root of 678 is 3. Right, okay, gotcha. Example, the digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4 would be 3, 6, 10, 1. Because 1 plus 0 is 1. Yes, okay, cool. Therefore, the digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4 is 1. I see. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number, okay? Let's remember that, it's probably gonna come in handy sooner or later. Oh, looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, a calculator. Ha! Huh, I already got two of those, but I don't have a calculator with me. I suppose I have my phone. And a stack of key cards. Huh. A stack of blue key cards. Looks like some key cards. There's a number written on each card. Six, seven, eight. Does that mean something? Well, it was in the example they gave us. New material has been added to the file screen. I can check that by pushing the right button, right? Calculator. Press left to open the calculator screen. Okay. So the game gives me a calculator, I guess. The calculator can also calculate a digital root, which will be important to the progression of the story. Really? Is this going to come up more than once, I guess? Okay. So we've got the file screen. Okay, so this is like bunch of tutorials and stuff, right? Well, let's go over the tips. Clicking the screen during an escape searches the clicked area, repeatedly clicking the same area or clicking it again after searching other areas might uncover new clues, so we might need to search things more than once, I guess. When you search traversable areas, an arrow will appear so you can move to a new area. Okay. You can switch items on the item screen after selecting an item and leaving the item screen, an icon will appear in the lower left corner of the screen. The icon shows the item you are holding. Searching certain areas while holding certain items might cause something to happen. Okay, good to know. Combining items, use this function to combine items you have into new items. Select an item from the item screen and select combine. Select a second item you wish to combine it with. Select action. If you select a possible combination, you will now have a new item. Right, so we've seen that happen and we've seen it not happen. <laughs> Mini games, all controlling. All controlling during minigames is done by clicking the screen. It's possible to use the mouse, enter, or space to select. If you want to quit the minigame, click back. If you're having difficulty solving a minigame, make sure to search the room thoroughly. Sometimes new hints will be unlocked if you fail enough times. Really? Okay, so I guess if we keep on failing, the game will help us out. I'm debating whether, like, if I take way too long, whether to edit it out or just leave it, so you can see my thought process, but we'll see when we get when we actually get stuck. You can jump to different places in the story by using the flowchart. Both story segments and escape rooms can be viewed. Choices you make in the flowchart will affect your story progression. So this one has choices that will affect the story, I guess. Okay, cool. The file calc flow. I'm guessing that's... Ooh, I see, I see. So this is like the letter then. Where we get like branching paths. Oh, okay, awesome. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, this one has a dead end. That's not good. Oh, this one... This must be toward the end of the game, I guess. Oh, cool, 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 cool. So there's diverging paths. Okay. I can save, menu, calculator. Let's check that out. Okay, so it's like an old-fashioned calculator. Digital root. So if I did like 6, 7, 8, and I did digital root, 3. Cool. Okay. Right. 
Okay, cool, 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 cool. Well, we need to keep looking. What else have we got? Uh, pipes? It's a pipe. I know. I know. I'll crawl into the pipe and find a way out. There's nobody here to make fun of my lame jokes. Aww. This sucks. <laughs> Come on, Junpei. I know it's kind of stressful and everything, but don't make stupid jokes like that. What have we got here? Is this... Is this a key? Small key. Red. Nice. Small red key. I should probably hold on to this key. Yep, that's a good idea, considering we did that with a blue key. Huh. Is this another room? Oh, what, what's up with my face? Oh, it's a mirror. Sorry. <laughs> I, thought the, I thought there was like an adjacent room and there was like a, a door. I look like a zombie. You don't look that bad, Junpei. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... I think there's more to, like, a bit of time to reflect. And... Then now, with water pouring into this place... Oh wow, we're going to win a flashback. I guess? I'm back! Not like anyone will respond. Ah, oh, man. Work was rough today. Right, so this must be when we got kidnapped, I guess. Huh? A breeze? Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. Famous last words, I must have forgotten to close it. Oh. What? Who are... Psychomantis. I... I can't... So this is the mastermind, I guess? I say I guess a lot, don't I? Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. Oh, how wonderful. You are going to participate in the game. The Nonary Game. The Nonary Game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's just charming. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. Yep, seems like it. When I get my hands on him... Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Good point, but seriously, there's water coming into this room, Junpei! Just who was that? They said, you have been chosen. Hmm. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. <laughs> Great. It is a game. His voice modulator has gone like full max blast, right? It's so hard to understand him. He's like Bane. Nonary game, huh? What the hell is a nonary game? God damn it! We'll figure it out once we get out, okay? Okay, good. Thank you. Let's focus. Let's open the red box, briefcase, whatever. Okay, good. All right, let's stick that red key in there. It's not opening. In fact, it's not doing anything at all. Well, alright, I take that back. I guess I can move the dial now. So it looks like I'm gonna have to put in the right numbers and then turn the key. I do that, this thing should pop right open. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Can I view the items from here? No? Damn it. Damn it! It's not opening. I wonder if anything I've got might have a hint. I think it should open if I put in the right numbers and turn the key. Yes, that made sense. Oh, I just need to click the right arrow. Okay, item. Let's res review this. So this is going to be the first lot of numbers. So we've got seven, four, eight, five. Okay, come on, come on. Seven, four, eight, five. Oh, yes, I unlocked it. It's opening. More key cards. Stack of red key cards now. These look like key cards. There's a number on each one. One, two, three. Okay. Now what? Can we swipe it on this? Maybe? These cards with numbers on them. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. Alright, let's slide these cards and see if they work. And... Nope. Huh? It's not working? Why? Damn it! No. No, that's right! I still have cards I haven't used. Okay. 
the other one's then. Damn it! Not again! There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one other hint. Of course! The files! That file said something about a digital root. A digital root? The digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do with... There's a five on that door. Do I have to get a digital root of five? Oh, okay. I'm not really sure about this. So you worked that out. Japan, I had no idea. If, if you left it up to me, I would have no clue. I'm not really sure about this. Ah, uh, whatever. It's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of five through the reader. Operating instructions. Click three cards to select them. The digital root of the selected cards will be displayed. Clicking reset will deselect all currently selected cards. After you've selected three cards, click on the device. So we need a digital root of five. Ah, so this is where my notebook comes in handy. So we've got one, two, three, six, seven, eight. We need a digital root of five, so we need to have either... It adds up to five, which is impossible because we've got one, two, three. We need to have either 23, 32, 41, or 14 as a sum. And those numbers will all add up to five. So let's go with... Let's start with 14. Can we make 14? Eight. No. Restart. Seven. Six. Two. No, that's 15. Dirt. Add, man! Six. There we go. Five. Okay. Jeez. Right, I think this is gonna work. There we go. That's a new noise. Huh? Did it just unlock? Well, that light was red and now it's blue. Well, let's get out of here. No doubt about it. There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go. Let's move, let's move. Okay, it's opened. Whew, did it. You found it. Well done, Junpei. Whoa! Oh, God. No sudden noises, game, please. Uh, my head. Okay, digital roots. Wait, is it... is it over? I guess so. Whew. Not really. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. At least we avoided immediate danger. Whoa, well, this place is... better than drowning, I guess. Flooding fast. Am I in a... hallway? Oh. Oh, there's a water here. Another door! Let's go. Damn this water. Ugh. Let. Me. Go! Oh, yes! It opened! Okay. Whoa. What? what the hell? Getting some, like, Titanic vibes on this, especially with the water flowing through. This is the inside of a ship? Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally, a. Uh... Wait, what uh, the hell? Japan, let's move! A wave? Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here. High ground, high ground. Let's go. Sea uh, deck. <laughs> Come on. B deck. Hurry, hurry! I thought it was the other way around. I thought the letters go like higher when you go higher, and A deck is the bottom. Uh, I don't know. A deck's next. Sorry, just saying random stuff. What? Hello. People! <laughs> yeah, people. A lot of people. Um... Well... Uh, um, uh, is anyone gonna say anything? I guess it's another one of us now. Hello, Dancer? Uh, uh, I'm guessing that's not uh, your real name? Dancer. Yeah. No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well, okay then. <laughs> She's not even a Dancer. Good one, Junpei. S silver hair? Huh? <laughs> One of us, huh? It's like they've got watches as well. We're, what? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Okay. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! Where are we going? That's nine of us, then. Nine. No. There's eight of us, because there was four on that stairwell, three on that one. And me. That's eight, right? All of the cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. 
Just what is going on? So we've got other people here. There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Some good descriptions. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, this is a great conversation, isn't it? Ah! <laughs> what was that all about? Huh? Ooh. Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? I was trying to translate what the guy said. Didn't you hear him? He... what? You understood him? Uh -huh. No, Junpei, he speaks English. The doors on A-deck are no good! Right, okay. So... We gotta check the doors on B-deck! Got it? Now go! Okay. Whoa. Gee, thanks for shoving me. Hey, man! That was dangerous! Huh? Four. Four doors. Four. And this one says... Five. The other one. Five. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. Right, well, they're not the same. One says four, one says five, Silver. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. So we're all prisoners. Great. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. M me too! Same for me. Okay, so we're all captives. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? <sighs> open! Damn it! Why? Why are you trying to open my door? It says five on it. Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. Maybe I have to, like, scan my watch on this thing. Yeah! You alright? Mountain. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. Well, it's locked down tight. There must be some other way. Huh. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. What's that? I guess it's showing that we're in thought, maybe? So that means this door is probably locked too. Okay. But this still... is vacant. I guess that means no one's in there. Junpei, if that guy couldn't open it, you think you can? Ugh. Damn it! Are there any other doors? He had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs, next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. It was a girl, so this is the ninth person I'm suspecting. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. Oh man, it's like some Bollywood stuff right here. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. Are you sure? No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. Ooh. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Ah. Uh. Oh, you speak like that guy too? Huh? Huh? <laughs> yes, I called it. Does anyone speak normally? Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly toward her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. Ooh, hoo, hoo, Junpei. As Junpei stepped onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. <laughs> Quake caught the girl unprepared, and she fell. Right on top of me! Watch out! Moving on instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her. Or so he thought. Well, nice try. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Her face was far closer than it should have been. Mere inches from his own. Yeah. He was flat on his back, and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did and her face suggested she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment that seemed to stretch for a very long time, they stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Huh? 
Oh my gosh! Oh. Is that you, Jumpy? 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 Her words echoed through Junpei's head, and suddenly, his memory returned. Uh, Akane? Akane? Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kurashiki. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? What a coincidence. Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he'd thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. Oh, Junpei. <laughs> oh no, not this again. He could feel his face heating up. At that moment... Okay. Oh god, you have to speak like that, don't you? It just reminds me of a certain character. What? <laughs> From Tank and Romper. What's that voice? Okay, so it looks like we've evolved from grunting. We're speaking normally again. <laughs> Captain, your ship is sinking. This is... That guy in the gas mask! Right. Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us? The nonary game. Familiar? Nonary game? What the hell's that? Okay. What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. Okay, let's read this. We will call them numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave the ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. So digital roots are important for the rest of the game, I guess. So this is how I guess we work together. We choose who we want to go through doors, and we make a digital route out of our bracelets. Interesting. I bet you they're gonna read it again anyway, but I figured we should just read it before they do, in case they don't. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. But apparently we're familiar with this game. Well, some people are. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? Terribly reading it to you? Well, okay, let me put on my terrible voice. On this sure. ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. Come on, Jabe, you can be more terrible than that! We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets, and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. And we get participants. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. So the rest just stand outside, I guess? All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. What happens if someone decides to live in that room for the rest of their life? Then what? So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. Great. So things can kill us? I guess drowning would kill us. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Right. Oh, 
How the hell did you get access to a ship? Oh, thanks. Nine. Nine doors, nine people, nine hours. I hear a bell. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock. It's the clock telling us the time. Got nine hours to solve these rooms. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? <laughs> Everything's nine. I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. So we have until 6 a.m. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Right. Thanks. Gonna need it. 